All right, 1950s Vespa I just found on Facebook Marketplace. Dude, they're still blowing me up on this thing. Yeah, and pulled the trigger on it real quick. He rode it over here. We got the headlight coming, but here's some cash for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Right on, man. Cool. Now, I don't know what I'm going to fucking do with this thing, but go ahead and count that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> huh? Does it run? Anyways, here it is. Gotta put some go-go juice in it, the battery. See what it does. All right, well, here she is. Made the deal. Oh, man. Thank you, brother. Have fun counting that. <laughs> and we'll have a pan in for sale after I get it running. Battery, gas, kick her over. See what's going on with this thing. It's pretty cool. Nice little, nice little ride. A little bit of a bastard, some weird parts on it. Uh, correct badges. Wrong tank, I think. Wrong trees, I think. Lots of wrong random shit going on, but she's fucking cool. Gotta love an old pan. Year one pan, I think. 48. No, I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm still learning. Fuck me. I don't even know what this is. Yeah, it's like a 1950s something. Or late 50s or yeah, something. Told me yeah, I was told late 50s, so... I mean, I really don't know. I, we can put this on the YouTube channel and see if anyone is into Vespas. So, if anyone's watching this on our YouTube page, what the fuck is this thing? But anyways, it's sold. Oh, yeah. And we're gonna. What's all this here, Roger? Just, uh, so that's the choke. Uh, if it's real cold, that's the choke there. But uh, off uh, this way. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And, uh, and that's choke off. Okay. Right there. And then this thing, I don't know what this is. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what that is either. Find some Vespa pages and ask some questions. Cause we fuck on American iron over here. Yeah, I got a 2015 Dyna and an 060 watt. So. <laughs> yeah. I know. I seen your bikes. Uh, yeah, you, well, anyways, uh, deal's made. Yeah, you bought it already. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, 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 thank you. I'll see you around, yeah. Yeah. Don't bring this thing back, though. <laughs> I guess I'll stop chewing in the camera. <laughs> All right, first, I got battery hooked up. Not a new battery, but I don't know if you can see me anyways. This is going to be a first kick. She's spicy. I ran the cycles, and she, she's spicy. To be continued. All right, headed to Sacramento. Drag strips with the C10, the Rat Rod, and all of our merch will be there this weekend, Saturday, 10 a.m. I think to like 10 p.m. And we're gonna be selling merch. That's what the weekend's gonna consist of. Hot as fuck. Can't wait.
Truck Mania. Had to stop at Dutch Bros to get some coffee. Tino, hella stoked. Burns, stoked. Tristan's rocking out. You go to a bar or something last night? It's crazy. <laughs> All right, what up everyone? We're out here at Truck Mania. We've been super busy for like the past few weeks, so I haven't posted anything again. But it's one of the biggest shows of the year for us. We're teamed up with Heatwave. We got uh, we brought the chopper out that I just finished building. You guys have seen it a little bit on the YouTube. We'll go do a little pan through that. Brought the rat rod, of course. Uh, Marcos and Zuzu, I don't even know why that's here. But, uh, oh, the C10, you gotta forget about the C10. We'll do a little panning through that too. Uh, but yeah, we're out here selling t-shirts, so the hustle remains. We are still out here grinding out t-shirts, buying and selling cars and trucks. Uh, you're not going to see this anyways in time, but this is what we've been you know, gearing up for. I got a bunch of new shirts, and we're out here doing it every day. Another day, another dollar. Alright, now we are in Lincoln after waking up early, doing the event all day yesterday, and we are going to pick up a PW50 after picking up two couches today, one for our backyard and one for our living room in Sacramento. Josh, how do you feel? Tired. <laughs> We're tired. We got some nitro coffee, and the guys are, Tino and Tristan are back there too. We're just along for the ride. We're cruising all over California. But uh, these guys are letting me run these fucking deals. And I found the PW50 2021 for a thousand bucks. So come on, we're gonna pick it up for Dancy while we're out here in this shithole. All right, we didn't get to leave Sacramento because I found a PW50 for Dancy. Actually, my boy Evan Anders sent me the link, but uh, we were on our way home. All we had to do was go pick up couches, Hontino. Huh, so the enclosed trailer is full of backyard couches and house couches that uh, we picked up in sack. And uh, our boy Tristan, he's still not up to date on the clothing, but uh, he's missing out or his Tinder picture. So, <laughs> but he's working on it. My boy's missing out on having boat sex today, <laughs> just to be with, just to be with us. Oh my God! I'm never letting this go. Uh, but yeah, we're here picking up a PETA off this dude. We got long trailers, dude, so I can... It... Yeah, yeah, no, I have tons of stuff on my trailers already. All right, cool. Check out this little gem. Advertised as a 2016, but it's really a 2021, huh? Yeah. Pretty sweet. Dancy is for my daughter. I'm going to put a training wheels on this thing pink plastics pretty sweet what do you guys think dude sweet <laughs> i love it is it worth it tristan no come on there's <laughs> always you there's always tomorrow dude just look back uh, yeah, you got tomorrow off yeah you Clu wait two weeks for this good old columbus two weeks that's crazy good old columbus yeah die for my sins I don't think that has anything to do with this, brother. <laughs> What's that about right there? Your neighbor's a cop? Yeah. That's crazy. Keto. <laughs> Come on, dude, don't think about it. Well, now that I get time to think about it, it's been taking so long. I didn't even grab the front end. Jeez. Fucking slush. Why do you have your blinker on? Oh, that comes on when uh when I hit my brakes. 
comes on when I hit my brakes, so people know. Sup, Slush? Dope people shirt, dope I'm shirt. My brakes from the front. Hi, my little dancer, Roni. Who the most beautifulest little thing I ever did see? <laughs> Ooh, I got the fat little cheek, little baby skin. Bike worth more than your truck, that's for sure. <laughs> Can she walk it? Yeah, she runs, bro. Are you kidding me? Hey, can I have this? Can he throw this wheel chalk in on the deal? Sure. I need that thing. Right. I literally need. It's literally in with your sheet metal scissors. We'll pull it out right now. I do need that. Yeah. Dude, that's so fucking gay. <laughs> what? That, who? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Are you kidding me? You should have seen it when he bought it. He had the thing up to here with the tail light up here. <laughs> All this dope work on this bike. The pipe needs to be painted. Is it? Yeah. Stupid glare. Oh, my loss, your gain, Roger. How, do you see my garage right now, bro? I know. And that's not even. Need to buy. You're helping me. And that's not even everything. You're bro. helping me. Out. Well, you I'm, ha make money, huh? I'm happy to do it. I'm. Ex I mean, it's it's a super insanely clean FXR for sure. But as you can tell, I do not need any more fucking shit. No, you're doing me a favor. You didn't ask me to buy it. I asked you to buy it. There's way too much shit in here. I need to throw together some cash. I got some stuff coming. And I have it. three bikes at the shop for sale, too. Yeah, I know. So I, just, I need money right now. Anyways. Now. Slush, just what year is this thing, Slush? 92. 92. Yeah, FXRS convertible. With FXRS like RS convertible. Miles. I got it from a 62-year-old dude in the East Bay. It's Everything fucking sick. Brand new on it. Lighting is way too bright today, so this video, this video of this thing kind of sucks, but... Thing is sick. Let me tell you guys how crazy the world works. So today, I put up looking for two of these, a post looking for two wheel chocks is what I put a post up on. And I need two more for my trailer because we're going to Huntington Beach this week with four bikes in my trailer and I only have two of those. And now I have three because Slushy hits me up like a few hours ago and is like, do you want to buy my bike? And now he's throwing in this wheel chock. So like the world just worked in crazy ways where... Now I just spent hella money just for one wheel chalk. <laughs> That's an expensive wheel chalk. That was an expensive wheel chalk, but I guess I get a whole bike with it. But that's yeah, a fucking, a nice bike, that's just crazy. Sick. Yeah, it is a nice bike. Ooh, now the sunlight is hitting good. Sweet bike, brother. Dancy got another motorcycle today. Mm. Let's get this fucking thing off here. All right, so starting tomorrow, we're getting all this Melissa, I call this Melissa's driveway, my wife. Uh, we're getting all this black topped or asphalted. They're starting grading and paving tomorrow out here. And then out here, I moved a bunch of shit already. Out here, we're doing basically all this around the trash can area, my up to the flagpole, my whole shop area. We're doing 40 feet off the side of the shop for trailer parking. All of this, everything that's base rock basically is going to be nice brand new pavement, black asphalt. And then we're stopping at this telephone pole. That's just what budget permitted for now on this driveway. But uh, we're stopping the main driveway down here. That straight line. Um, and then going all the way down to our road. Way down there, it's just 500 feet. So we're going to do 14 feet wide four inches thick all of this area and please believe there's going to be some c10 donuts right here some harley wheelies and burnouts now that i'm going to have this nice black top everywhere i'm going to be pretty stoked and main reason is keeping the dust down it's going to bring the value of the property up it's going to look cleaner and it's just going to be all around better for storing shit driving on and it's just going to look really clean This week's episode. What are we doing this week on this episode? What did we watch? What did everyone watch? Anyways, who cares? New locks for the trailer. Going to Huntington Beach right now. Leaving well, actually 5 a.m. in the morning. So I'll be there tomorrow, Saturday. So if you're watching this, which will be Friday, and you are in SoCal, come to the Huntington Beach Moto Classic, the Rolling Sands event. We'll be there selling merch next to the Concrete Cowboys, which are doing three stunt shows. As you know, those are our sponsored riders. Well, at least Mikey and CJ. Uh, and the other guys are on their own shit. But uh, 
we are gonna be selling merch so come support us um don't worry about anything but good times come check it out what else was i wanting to say to these fools what else was i going to say to these fools i don't know um uh, also we haven't dropped a video in like what three weeks because we've been once again super fucking busy and haven't been filming it's all my fault but i don't have time for it so we're trying to do as best as we can maybe one day this winter we'll try to get a little more you know professional with it but we're not uh, don't sleep never stop grinding as you can tell i'm not stopping shit i just spent 50 grand on my fucking pavement at my house and i probably shouldn't have but that's the kind of shit that keeps me going is i'm scared as fuck and i spend a lot of money and it usually makes me want to make more money and then i start thinking like maybe i shouldn't have spent that because if i would have just been motivated more i would have had more money but the fuck do you need money for dude spend that shit because um it's a tool and if you're not using it, it collects dust. And if it collects dust, it's not doing anything good for you. So spend your fucking money, invest it, make money with your money. And then when you get to a certain amount of uh, money, you can buy shit you like. Like the ground at my house or motorcycles or cars and trucks. You see the life I'm living. Uh, people keep asking me how, which we're gonna touch on that soon. If you wanna live a lifestyle similar to mine, I might have an opportunity for all of our viewers to invest into something that we have going on so stay tuned for next week's episode if that's when we're gonna you know announce how we're about to grow and if you're interested in living a better lifestyle you're gonna want to send me an email all right guys thank you for watching the episode hit that subscribe button turn the notifications on get to hostilityinc.com buy some gear um, all this footage and all this uh, day in and day out lifestyle that we live is all out of pocket so we really rely on you guys to support the company support the brand um, you want to keep seeing cool shit that I'm doing get on there buy a shirt a hat a beanie a, a sweatshirt whatever it is um, some stickers thank you guys very much see you on the next episode